So today I'm going to show you how to do an RCP. Um, now to begin with, it's always a good idea to start with the floor plan of the room that you're going to be drawing the RCP for. Um, you just tape down the floor plan and then you can put a second piece of paper over the top. And um, that way you don't have to remeasure and you know that the walls are going to be the same size. On an RCP, you always want to make sure that you have a legend that um, tells you what the uh, different symbols are that you're going to be using as well as the symbol that's um, describing the materials that the ceiling is made out of. Um, some things that you don't want on an RCP are things that are not attached to the ceiling itself, such as furniture, countertops, um, Sometimes windows don't touch the ceiling, sometimes they do. You just need to make sure that you read your floor plan correctly. So, let me get in here. And what I'm doing right now is tracing the structural walls of the floor plan of the room. starting from the top of the page to the bottom to try and smear as little as I can when drawing. In this particular RCP, the windows do go all the way to the ceiling in the room, so we will be drawing those in as well. Some things that are shown on an RCP are things like um, lighting fixtures, ceiling fans, um, heating and air conditioning ducts, you may see um, fire alarms, as well as skylights. Pretty much anything that is actually affixed to the ceiling is going to be on a reflected ceiling plan. whole wall in the front of the room is all windows. Just because it is an RCP doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to have a lot of things to draw. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go back in and add the panes of glass here.
So there we've drawn all of our horizontals. I'm going to go back and draw in all of our verticals. triangle slid just a little bit there so when you're doing your plans you need to make sure that you're paying close attention to your tools um, to make sure that they don't slip on you. I did miss a window there but for time's sake I'm just going to leave it. also primarily made up of windows that touch the ceiling, so we're going to make sure that we draw those in as well. Okay, so we have our basic structural walls drawn in now, and I just slid my triangle across my work, which is a big no-no because that is what causes smudging with the graphite. Don't do that like I did. Um, so now that we have the structural walls in, I'm going to draw in um, some light fixtures. And on this particular plan, we're going to be doing uh, a one half inch round light fixture. Actually, I apologize. I misspoke. A five eighths inch round light, light fixture. Um, the 5 8 inch is uh, the size of the circle on my stencil. Um, if you were to scale it, uh, it would be closer to uh, 2 feet. And another one in this other room. And then a smaller one in the third room. And because our legend shows that symbol to have a cross through the center, we need to make sure that all three of those light fixtures match the symbol uh, on the legend. It's also important that we uh, dimension all of our light fixtures so that the reader knows exactly how large to make them. So just like dimensioning anything else um, on our floor plans, we make the extension lines. Not quite touching the object, but real close. Then we'll do the dimension line. Get the architectural ticks. I'm 
Then we write in the dimensions of each fixture. This one is two feet, six inches. Two feet, zero inches. And again, two feet, six inches. Um, another thing that needs to go on our reflected ceiling plan is the elevation of the finished ceiling. Um, and as we can see on our legend that that's shown by um, another round symbol with a cross through it. Let's see, and we'll use the half inch circle for this one. Um, and because our um, RCP has multiple rooms, we'll go ahead and put an AFF symbol in each room just to clarify uh, the ceiling elevation for each. And it's best to keep the size of the circles consistent. these particular symbols we need to fill in two of the quarters of the circle and you need to fill them in completely and in black on your RCP you need to do it on every single one The next to each finished ceiling height symbol, we need to indicate the actual elevation of the ceiling. So right next to it, we'll just write nine feet and six inches and abbreviate AFF for above finished floor. And the very last thing we need to remember to include is uh, indicating what the material of the ceiling is made out of. For this particular RCP, the ceiling is made out of gypsum board, uh, which is indicated with speckling. Now, you don't need to speckle the entire ceiling uh, to save time. You can actually just speckle the outside edge, just so that the viewer can understand clearly that every room has the same ceiling material. Um, so again, you would continue that throughout the entire space. Um, I think that pretty much wraps it up. This is how you draw a reflected ceiling plan. Thank you.